Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Sim Airport, and thank you for joining us as we continue our exciting mission from last time. What did I do at the end of the last episode? That's right, I went through and I redid all of our queues over here. So we've got these two queues set up for the future. We have all these queues set up for the present. That's right. So we've got just a few. Oh no, I need to sneeze. Wowie woo. Uh, so we've got a few of uh, the stands set up for each of the queues here, so that'll help get the passengers through quickly. They shouldn't line up too badly in the queues. I don't know how well they're going to do it, like uh, separating into each of the different lines, but uh, I don't know. It seems like they're going to do fine with it. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I set up the uh, flooring to be replaced down here so we can expand down the flooring now. I don't know why all those people are hanging out down there. I'm going to spread our secure zone all the way down to here. Bam. There we go. And then that'll push them out through that way so they can shoo. Skedaddle. Get over into that insecure area, you dumb dumb. I mean, to the secure area, you dumb dumb passengers. You guys all know better. And this leaves us plenty of room for additional security when we need it. Now, we aren't going to need it for a little while yet, but we are pretty close to being able to, to set up this gate here. So, I think the first thing I'm going to do because we have we have our infrastructure set up properly to where we can do this. I'm going to set our baggage uh, lines up uh, here. Now, it's going to be very long. I don't know that it's going to be particularly, you know, like it's not exorbitantly expensive or anything. But it's going to be somewhat expensive. On the other hand, we have almost a million dollars on cash on hand. So, you know, we're not we're not in any bad shape. So I'm going to put this down here somewhere, and we will put the baggage depot right there for sure. Why not? And then we'll run the conveyor line to go like this and like that, and then it'll come out like this and go down and over. And uh, we're going to want to connect in over here. Really, and that's four... Huh. I did not realize we already had four of those baggage things. I might have to remove this one. Maybe connect this gate up to this one. Just to free up. Or we might have to set up a whole different baggage system for the uh, for the other uh, plane. You know, I guess that's always possible. Or for the other gates, there's always a possibility too. Uh, let's cancel that project there. So let's, uh, let's finish building this line out of here anyway. And uh, if we have to worry about building a more sophisticated baggage claim system, we'll worry about that when the time comes. Whoa, that is not going to work. How about I try to do this properly? Connect this up like this. And have it go there. And then, can I... I guess I have to cancel that whole thing, don't I? Oh well, no sweat. I'll just run this over like that. And connect it there. Very good. Okay, that's going to keep those bad boys busy for a little while. So while they're working on that, I'm going to click our foundation. Here's where our next extra large gate is going to be. This area is not assigned to be anything, right? It's just like grass so far. We're going to throw a few more small gates in down here. In theory, I could fit most of these onto this baggage claim area. All right, so let's... I do not want to make that open. Oh no, this is all a secure area, so I can make it open if I want to. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to connect all this up through there. There you go, and that'll be the waiting area for, for this gate. And then we're getting very, very close. So unfortunately I cannot expand down this way, which was kind of my original plan just because I wanted to have a runway here and, and all that stuff. Um, but I can always... I, hmm, what could I do? I mean, I guess I could put build a whole little extra terminal up here or we would put in a few more gates, just connect them up directly to this runway. I don't I feel like we'll run out of flights before we get to that point. It's not, I don't think any additional flights ever open up for us. I think we just get the ones that we start with. Oh, 
How are we doing on little trucks here? Oh. So we've already got six trucks running? Sure do. Huh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we have six gates, so that that's all, all sort of makes sense. The plane could make up its mind which of the two runways to use. Use the medium runway, Bella. Well, I guess this one's a medium runway as well, so never mind. There you go. That one's smart. He just jumps right in. He doesn't need to start at the beginning. He's like, you know what? I'm going to start in the middle of the runway and go from there. All right, come on, uh, workers, construction workers. You can do it. Get this stuff built. Uh, oh, they're working on that underground belt there. Up. Oh. People getting stuck, I think. Or confused. Our cafe is still not overwhelmed by any means. Hmm. Oh, there we go. E104. That's what I say. Trying to make somebody lunch and I can't figure out what I'm doing. E104, I yell. Very common phrase. Everybody's coming down here using this new baggage system. Very cool. Or is it a new baggage system? No, but you know what I mean. They're using the new baggage. They're using the new hallway to get to the baggage claim area. That is what I was trying to say. Now, what are those people doing? Is that a janitor or something? I guess it was a janitor, yeah. I saw somebody coming in through here and going up and up that way, like this janitor right there. There we go. There's another janitor doing that. Now, you janitors are setting a bad example for the average passenger. They're going to think that they can uh, uh, take advantage of stuff like that and get us in big trouble with that kind of uh, action going on. You cannot do things like that. All right, let's uh, let's work on clearing some of these walls out here. Okay, there we go, like that. Let me clear clear that out. This was kind of supposed to be reserved for snack bars and whatnot. We'll see how that works out in the end. I guess I left one extra wall segment there that I want to get rid of. Very good. Um, I'm gonna slow it down a little. And we are, let's see, this is a whole new section of our airport. So you know what, let's give it a, let's give it a unique uh, flooring. We will give it this fancy black tile flooring because that should be cool, I guess. All right, there we go. Wonderful, wonderful black tile flooring. I do not want to cancel that. I just want to leave it alone. And um, now i got to wait for the construction people to do that before I can... I mean, I guess I could put the gate there first, but I'd rather have the um, have the uh, uh, ticket, the agent desks, gate 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 desks, gate agent desks. There we go. That's how the English language works. Um, I'd rather have those assigned first before I try to do any of that other nonsense. I like watching all these little fellows run through the maze. It's very exciting. Oh, hey. That is, oh, you know why it's not as, uh, as uh, black as I thought it would be? Because of the planning. So if we erase all the planning information, boom, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful black tile. Okay. I guess I can't really put those, those uh, I can't really put the desks down without having the gate there because I'm not quite sure where the door will be. So I need to do that, and then I need to do a door. Not a dumpster. A doorpster. Doorpster. Um, we'll put that right there. And then we have the gate agent desks. That will be... You know what? Just go with what works, Sean. No need to get too fancy. Just put them like that. And then we do a queue. Oh, you guys love watching me set up these queues, don't you? It's so exciting. Oh my gosh. Hold your excitement for after I am done because this is not going to end anytime soon. It's me building a queue. Really fun stuff. Oh, zigging and zagging all over the place. Look at that. Back and forth. Somehow managing to talk the entire time I do it. It doesn't make any sense. How can I do it? But I'm doing it all the same. Oh my gosh. There we go. And a queue is complete. Or 
complete. That was a joke that I just made up. Um, so now we're going to put some plants down within that area. There's got to be little gaps that I left in there because I know that I left them in there. Uh, we'll just use this to find them. But maybe I didn't leave any over on this side. Oh, there's one. Great. And we'll put one over here too. Now, you might be saying, Sean, didn't you have a cool pattern that you were using? What happened to your awesome pattern? You're so great. Well, uh, maybe I'm not as great as you thought I was because I, I kind of abandoned the pattern very briefly. Uh, but don't worry, the greatness is back again, as you can see, and I get back on following the pattern. It's just not within that queue, I guess. I got too much on that one. All right, look at that double double plant action over there. Keep it rated PG, I said, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on what the action is between those two plants. All right, so we're going to assign you to there and to there and to there. Very good. Oh, I was just missed the cutoff. I'm trying to get this into... Uh, oh, well. No big deal. NBD. Um, we're going to uh, put some chairs in. Seems like a weird way to put the chairs in but you know what I've I've started it I'm gonna stick with it we're gonna we're gonna make it work where's the entryway there's the entryway right there all right so let's uh, oh, how about we do them this way where they are not strangely facing each other they're facing away from one another there we go very good oh that all looks so nice now I was gonna put some uh, cafe stuff right kiosks is that what those things are called can I squeeze them down in here I sure can. It's going to be make for a little crowded area with, uh, with, uh, hmm, yeah, see, there's too much stuff in the way. Oh, I just have it faced backwards. There we go. Going to make for a bit of a crowded area down here, but who cares? We can deal with crowds. And uh, we get rid of those. There's going to be this area opened up. Hmm, whoops. Oh, what's going on? Wow. The game says, nope, let's not make the game try to talk anymore. There's sort of the W and the A and the S and the D work. Um, okay, so we've got that done. Great. Escape. We go to staff. We go to staff. And we hire two more staff, and they're going to work at those desks. Now, where is everybody? Why is it so quiet in here? Uh, it's because it's the middle of the night. That's why. And everybody is at home sleeping like good little boys and girls. Uh, so we will let them sleep, and we will look at our... What are we going to look at here? Um, hmm. What we can look at is our schedule. And... Uh, but... Yeah, there's not really much to look at on the schedule, to be honest. I mean, we have this brand new gate. And we can get this brand new mega planes in there. I guess what we could do is move some of these flights off of, like, how many? That is a 300. That has 300. But this is a afternoon flight. This has 300 passengers. That has 300 passengers. Right. 250. Oh, that's a morning one with 150. There you go. So we can move you into there. There we go. No problem. And that's a small gate, which could take a small plane like that without any problems there. And this is a... Okay, so... But I want to be pulling them off of extra large gates. I don't really want to be pulling them off of large gates because that doesn't make any difference. So I didn't really clear up any space like I thought I might. But what I can do is I can move this one over and I can put this in here. Invalid. Requires extra large gate. Got it. Requires extra large. Okay, so these all require extra large gates anyways. All right, so I didn't really accomplish much with that. But it seemed like a fun idea at the time. Um, matter of fact, I could just move this back into here, can't I? Wait a minute. Oh, no, never mind. I can't. What am I thinking? Um, huh. 
you know what? I'm just going to leave it. Let's, uh, uh, so I have an extra large gate where I can bring in some of those super giant airplanes. I can't really squeeze any more flights into the existing structure. So, um, let's look at, uh, is it Galactic Point? They're the ones that have the giant mega planes, uh, which is fantastic because now we can bring these in. So we can bring in a morning flight, that 350. All right, so we have a morning flight. Ah, good, two morning flights. Should be able to get those in there. There's a one. Well, let's, yeah, let's set you up to where you finish like that. But you definitely need to be a longer... Like, you need way more time than that. There we go. Like, that is going to be just fine. And we're going to push you forward. And then you are going to come in at about... Oh, you're an afternoon flight? What the what? I must have clicked on the wrong thing. That's all right, though. We're doing a pretty good job of getting all of our flights out on time, so I don't really need to worry about that. There we go. Now, there's the morning one right there. Great. We can put you in over here. Now, we have an awful lot of planes that are flying in at 6. We don't really need to have that. So I can move a few of these. There we go. That staggers them out a little bit. Um, so this is our extra large gate, so we don't really need all that time there. I can do that, which means I can shift you here, which means I could probably fit another afternoon flight in, but all we have left are night flights, huh? Um, all right, so uh, 787 or 747? 747, okay, let's do a 747. That'll be exciting. One of those, one of those big, big old monsters. Um, now, could I somehow manage to squeeze two of those in? You know what? I sure can. So let's... Uh, oh, you know what? I'm not going to be able to because we're just not going to have enough. Maybe. You know what? Oh, boy. That really seems like I'm throwing caution to the wind with this. I'm not going to uh, I'm not gonna take my chances on that. We can try to fit in an additional... Uh, an additional afternoon flight. Somebody else is going to have a 747. Doesn't we don't need to we don't need to be crazy with this. Okay, um, like Rexicana, 747 afternoon. Beautiful, right there. Great. All right, so we'll throw you in right here. And we'll extend your boarding time. Hmm. Maybe I should not have done that because that's not. You need to go to there, but that's okay because we can just push you forward to there. No problem. All right, great. Bunch of extra flights in for tomorrow. Very good. Is there any way that I could fit an extra large gate? You know, I think I might, I think I might rearrange some of this planning over here because I would actually rather try to get in two extra large gates than one or than three small gates. Um, so let's see. Uh, we have the thing there. And we do yellow. And we go 30. Thirty by thirty. Could I manage no, I could not. So if I tried to do one in here, yeah, I mean, I technically could, but I'm really not leaving much room for um, for passengers and stuff waiting for this one. So I think I'll just do a 20 by 20 over here. And uh, we'll call that good. So I can still I can still get this gate going 
with no problem. And then we'll just run run the uh, uh, tarmac over here. Uh, but that doesn't mean that I could I could expand this out if I wanted to. Uh, not that I'm going to do that right now, but I could. You know what I mean? It's it's a it's a possibility. So let's go ahead and um, build out this foundation since we can, and we will add foundation. I mean, we'll just we'll just fill this whole area in because we have the money right now. And we don't really have a whole lot going on, so there's really no reason not to. Uh, I'm gonna add that little section there just to uh, to make things nice and clean. We may never even fill this area in. So we'll have to put the seating and stuff over here for this gate. Maybe we'll curve, I mean, I think we're gonna have to curve the queues around into here. So it's gonna make this little hallway a bit crowded. Um, and, and I'm not thrilled about that, but you know, we're running out of room. So what are we gonna do? But that'll let us get in quite a, get in quite a few more flights, and then, then I guess it's gonna be a massive expansion up into this area to try to squeeze in. So if we come up here, let's see, go planning, go taxiway. Let's say we run the taxiway along here, and then we try to squeeze in some gates. So if we do, thirty by thirty, and then we try to do a few more of those. There's a thirty by thirty, like that. Let me put a gap in there. One, two, three, one. Okay, great. I mean, it's probably more more planes than we'd be able to fit in anyways. Or, or, you know, I mean, I don't think that many planes exist. But we could try. So that does leave us with a pretty reasonable amount of space to put, um, uh, you know, like a uh, waiting area and stuff in. We could have a second security area just right in here, no problem. Um, not really sure what we would do for um, arriving passengers to get to their luggage. Yeah. That is a, I guess we could put a security exit here. I just, that seems terrible. Could we put, we could put a baggage claim area over here that, that connects up specifically to the existing, uh, or you know what I mean, like a whole new baggage claim network. So that might be worth doing. Although, let's be honest, uh, I'm sure you've noticed that there's been some stuttering and lag um, as we are playing here. So I mean, if we're running into this kind of stuttering and lag before we even introduce these sections, you know, be realistic what it's going to look like when we get two more gates going and all of the uh, folder all that's going to be involved with with having having this area in there um, getting all of this stuff set up just just might be more than the game is capable of handling which would be too bad because I'm really having a lot of fun with this airport and it would be neat to see how far we can go um, one uh, I'm sure a lot of you know if you're watching this you know, like the day it came out or that, you know, within the first couple of days that this video has been posted, I'm sure a lot of you have been following along. Airport CEO uh, is going to be released in the next few days. Um, I do not know whether we'll be getting a key for it or not. I don't know if they've, like, communicated with the people who are getting the keys. Honestly, I haven't been following it too closely. But I did put in a request for one uh, some time ago. I, actually, it was at April Fool's. They did a really funny April Fool's joke the airport CEO team um, and uh, it was yeah it was really good um, and so uh, that was when I first got in touch with them about trying to get a key from them um, so I've been in touch with them for quite a while but I know they've been really busy and, and having to work really hard on trying to uh, complete the game 
and kind of be prepared for their launch. So I wouldn't expect them to like let me know whether I'm going to get a key or not. The way that stuff works, sometimes you just open up your email box and you're like, oh, hey, I got a key. So we're going to uh, wait and see. But uh, I am going to stop talking right now because the timer went off a little bit ago, and it's time for me to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you're having a good time. I'm really having fun with this airport. And uh, I'm going to let the construction workers finish up their construction uh, off air. Uh, so when we come back uh, tomorrow, we'll have uh, a little bit of uh, the construction done down in that area. Maybe I'll clean up the walls and stuff. Um, but I, I want to uh, I want to be uh, recording when we get the new flights in and stuff. So I won't let it go too far. Uh, thanks so much, everybody. Click that like button if you had a good time. Leave me a comment if you had a good time and want to tell me about it. I love hearing from you. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye.